Well, two out of 12 boilers work. So the first time I ever met this super, he was cutting the cold water line on a water heater and he stops me because I'm just standing there watching. He's like, stand back. He might get wet. So I step back, takes the copper cutter, cuts the cold water line on the water heater, but didn't shut the main off or anything. So water is bam, crazy. What does this guy do? He takes a shark bite valve and goes bam, closes it, done. That is the building we are going to right now. Ready for this? Don't say I didn't warn you. So the goal right now is get an inventory of everything I need and I'm gonna go to the supply shop, pick it all up at once, come back and put it all on. So I think the goal moving forward from here is these ones with the electrical problems, I'm gonna to try to fix all that up first and see if that was the only problem. Cut out all the melted wire. I get it. I'm not going to leave it like this. I just want to make sure the gas valve works, the circulator pump works. I just want to knock it all out at once. Or as best as I can. This isn't a perfect world. So this is what we're looking at right now. So I had to rewire six of them because the wires were melted. And that fixed three. I forget what else I did on another one. Um, we've got six running right now. I need to replace 007, NRF 22, fan center. I've got to replace some expansion tanks and, oh yeah, thermocouple on this one. All right, I gotta get this done as fast as possible. Let's rock and roll. Sometimes valves don't hold.